Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and work on our tomatoes. So I have all of my tomatoes, which you guys see has gotten really big uh, since the last update on the tomatoes. So what I'm going to go ahead and do today is search through all of them, create airflow, and remove suckers, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and clean the base of the beds and adding some amendments. So go ahead and get ready to go ahead and plant in some more. So right here in this space is pretty empty. And that is because I harvest my daikons in a previous video and that's where the daikons were. So now we're gonna go ahead and get them ready for another round of plants. So let's go ahead you guys and get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let's, let's go ahead and take care of our tomatoes. Here are my tomatoes, but because my tomatoes um, are so close, my tomatoes are close together, I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the leaves. So what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is look for any suckers, even the smallest ones and remove them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. Let me see if I can get you guys a little bit closer. So if you see here, I have a tomato here and a tomato here. So what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tomato leaf into half. Now it isn't gonna do anything to this plant, but this creates the airflow and as well, it still creates the shade uh, that you'll need if your tomatoes are in sunlight. And sometimes if they're in direct sunlight, you can get actually sunspots on your tomatoes. So leaving the leaves um, will prevent that. So what I do is I go ahead and cut them to keep a nice airflow for the other tomatoes right next to it. So we have no suckers here. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and looking for the suckers and removing them. When they're small like this, you can really just pop them right off. But when, they're get, when they get quite big, you wanna use some type of shears. Now, I want to go ahead and remove oh. right down here. This is my volunteer tomatoes. So what I have here is a tray here, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. Fill it up with soil, and then I'm going to go ahead and prick these out. Okay, now I have here probably maybe a good eight plants. Okay. So these are volunteer tomatoes. And last year I had the black cherry tomato here. So I'm gonna work my way through the garden today, cleaning out any weeds that might be in the garden. So I have here my little rake, my earthworm, where'd he go? Okay. And then I'm going to sprinkle some worm castings. And then 
I'm just going to go ahead and break it back in.
so now what I'm about to do is fill up these trays and finish up the volunteer plants. volunteer tomatoes I do not know exactly what varieties they are gonna be but if I do need extra plants I have them already so just save some of your volunteers if you can um, they will turn out just fine now I do have a couple more left and I will just save them so I can go ahead inside the greenhouse and get a little bit more trays but we have a little bit more I don't think I'm gonna save anymore after this because I have a great deal of tomatoes already. Now we did end up harvesting two of the onions. So this is what they are looking like. Now this is the Texas sweet yellow onion right here. And I'm gonna take these and actually put them under the gazebo. Now I normally let them stay on the fence or on the gazebo and let them dry, but it's been very uh, cloudy and there's a lot of moisture and uh, it's just best to put them under the gazebo so that they can cure. Okay, so let's go ahead and show how the tomatoes came out. So here is how all the tomatoes are doing. So we do have a great deal of varieties planted and as well, the onions are doing really well. And I did pop in a pepper here. You guys see that everything is doing really well. And, and later on today, I will be trellising these beans here because it is time for me to go ahead and do that as well. But here is all our tomatoes.
Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And I went ahead and refreshed and cleaned up all of the tomatoes. And I hope you guys enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.